Hey everybody, where's Swally here? Well, Adam, he's flapping his gums yet again. So here's the challenge. I've had a bit of back and forth with Professor Phil Bell in the comment section this morning. We all know Phil. Well-known Globagandist, supposed satellite scientist, supposed rocket scientist, and supposedly works for the Indian Space Agency, ISRA. So I've challenged Phil. If he's so confident, let's send a rocket straight up. Straight up, laden with cameras, and let's have a look for ourselves. Rather than rely on anyone else, let's have a look for ourselves. This was a big challenge he laid down for, for Professor Phil just the other day. I know, Adam, how about we stick a camera on this thing? Let's just watch this uh, SpaceX rocket go from launch into space while Adam flaps his gums. But there's no excuses here. Or perhaps there is one, like Phil cited, the cost. Well, with Phil's backing and connections, and it doesn't need to be a super big rocket to get high enough to prove the point. So with Phil's connections to the space agency and Phil's cronies, pilots like Wolfie or Captain Birdseye, some know him as, or the spinning fish tank specialist, who's well renowned for giving gifts, cash, drones, and supposedly all about the truth. So I'm sure he'll want to put some money down for this space endeavor where we go high enough to have a look for ourselves. Ping Pong and all his cronies, surely they've got nothing to hide or be scared of? Oh yeah mate, I'm right into this, this is good fun. They should be on board. And of course I can imagine many globe skeptic level earthers, whatever you want to call the people who know the globe scientifically impossible, we on, will be on board as well. There should be no excuses. Phil has cited the cost as an issue, but Phil, we got loads of people Globe believers and people who stand by the truth. Loads, thousands who can contribute. You're, you've got connections in the space agency, Phil. It's almost like you're trying to make excuses, Phil. Are you scared of the results, my globe-loving friend? Come on, Phil. The time has come. We'll call the rocket Pantomime 1 in search of the Red Curtain. Who wouldn't want to be involved in the Rome Rocket Project? where we blast off with cameras and perhaps coordinate it with a balloon watching each other. The balloon watches the launch and they coordinate and observe each other and the data gained off both of those will be even more beneficial. So let's send a rocket straight up for as far as we can go, filming it with a balloon from the ground, plenty of data and let's have a look for ourselves. Let's put this to bed. Whatever happens, I know the globe is going to be proven to be impossible just simply by your actions if you don't go for it you're essentially telling us you've got no belief in your system that is the globe the pantomime system of the globe no belief because you jump at the chance being space fans and globe believers to get on board with this project so if you don't do it you're already admitting to all of us that you don't believe you don't want to do it because you don't want the results to highlight the absurdity of your beliefs. And here's the problem. Even if you do do it, which I hope you do, because I'd like to see some honesty in your hearts. I know, based on demonstrable reality, the results are going to highlight the absurdity of your beliefs. So you can't win, guys, now. It's as simple as that. You should be all over this. A space project for all of us to send a rocket straight up. But there's no excuses for this rocket going straight up. We'll film it with a balloon as well. Get our heads together and let's put an end to this. Don't be scared of the results. You should be excited by this. You're only scared if you've got a bias. My bias is to what is true. If it turns out I'm wrong and I'm humbled by pantomime one rocket, so be it. Demonstrable reality would tell me I'm not going to be humbled by it. But let's send a rocket up. You're so confident? Let's do it. Let's have a look for ourselves. Enough of the arguing, the pantomime, the propaganda, the charade that is YouTube online. Enough of it. Let's end it. Let's have some fun. Let's send a rocket up. And let's bring an end to this charade that is Globe Earth. Last chance. Prove it.
So Adam, what are we seeing at the end here? I think that you might see that is curve over there looking out the back of this rocket. What do you reckon, mate? Think you're done. I don't entirely know exactly what's going on. Stage one FTS is saved. Trajectory nominal. Stage one entry burn startup. So with that, three Merlin 1D engines on the first stage igniting to reduce the vehicle's velocity. You can see that on the bottom left corner of your scene screen. This burn expected Stage to last one about entry burn shut down. So from here, the grid fins will continue to take the first stage towards our drone ship stationed out in the Atlantic Ocean. At this point, T plus six and a half minutes into flight, second stage is making its way to the initial orbit to drop off the Cargo Dragon spacecraft. And uh, if you're just joining us, welcome. On your screen is a live view of Falcon 9's first stage on the left, the second stage on the right. We had a, an on-time liftoff at 1.29 p.m. Eastern Time. Nominal ascent so far. Now, talking a little bit more about stage the... One transonic. Talking a little bit more about the first stage. So the next major event coming up is that landing burn. Landing burn is what will bring the vehicle speed rapidly down to zero. Amazing shots stage of the first stage during re-entry. Once we get closer to the drone ship, we will deploy our four symmetric landing legs around the base of the first stage for hopefully a nice soft touchdown on that drone ship. You can see a shot of that on the right-hand side of your screen. Stage one landing leg deploy. Picture perfect landing of that Falcon 9 for the first one stage. Landing. First landing for this first stage. 86 successful recovery overall for SpaceX. Fantastic. Is nothing but a spinning pantomime.